Hey guys, my name is Dan, I'm a veterinarian, and today, growing pains in the puppy. Just like humans, can dogs have pain from, you know, growing up and getting bigger and having their bones develop? They totally can, and I'm gonna cover that today. Growing pains are more common in your large breed dogs. The physis, the part of the bone that's expanding and growing to allow the dog to get bigger, can cause some pain sometimes. It's not always from the physis, it can be from other parts of the bone too. The most common growing pain we see in dogs is panosteitis or hypertrophic osteodystrophy. These are totally different diseases, but I'm going to lump them together to kind of give you an idea that growing pains can happen in doggies, and the way to diagnose them is an x-ray. The first condition I mentioned, the panosteitis, is more commonly found in large breed dogs. We can see it as early as like 5 months out to about 14 months. Panosteitis affects the long bones and it's uh, an over proliferation or excessive growth or of osteoblasts and fibroblasts and this causes increased density in the medullary cavity of the bone, causing the bone to have an increased density on the x-ray. This can be incredibly painful and uncomfortable for the growing dog. Why it happens, there's a lot of theories out there. We don't know sh why it happens for sure. With that being said, you need to get it checked out and get meds to help the doggy feel better. The other condition I mentioned, hypertrophic osteodystrophy, HOD, is more common in the younger puppies of large breed dogs. This includes dogs as early as like two to three months out to, you know, six to seven months. This condition affects the growth plate area near the metaphysis of the dog's bone. Now, we see this more commonly in bones like the radius and the tibia as the doggy grows. It can be incredibly painful and we believe it could be a blood flow issue. Both of these can be very uncomfortable, guys, and both of these should be diagnosed and treated by your veterinarian. Everything from anti-inflammatory meds to maybe even steroids in some situations can help reduce inflammation, help the doggy feel better, and help them recover and move through this really uncomfortable part of their life. As I mentioned guys, both of these are diagnosed based on x-ray diagnosis. Now, you may see weight shifting lameness, it's showing up at a certain age, a certain breed, and you can be really confident and say, you know what, I think this may be a developmental, you know, uh, growth issue problem, but, 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 but you must have an x-ray to diagnose it. And that is why a veterinarian will do an x-ray to, to figure out which one it is, if it's one in general. Also guys, once you have an x-ray, you can kind of get an idea of expectations about how long this is going to last and when it's going to go away and what to expect long term if we have a growth plate or a, a long bone issue causing pain and discomfort from a growing large breed puppy dog. As always guys, I hope this was crazy helpful leveling up your veterinary knowledge so when you walk into the veterinary clinic you feel far more confident in how you approach the exam of your dog. That works. You guys take care. Have a great week. I'll see you next time. Bye.